Jeeva Korja, Morini Waraku Sanam Dun, a Rugame in Bionlaki Kundina Galiva, August Tome in a Kone e Carla Strand, Kanya Galiva Freshen, or Tomakri Anish, Anish, Ilan Akla. Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk about my new book, Akal Painters. And as you can see, we're surrounded by the exquisite quartz walls that once upon a time formed the boundaries of, just behind me here, Corrymore House, Coyamore, which was in the ownership we know about Captain Boycott and that in the 1850s. But because of our, why we're here today talking about Akal and painters, it's, it has to be mentioned that it was very, very much associated with Robert Henry. He owned it for a number of years and he started painting here in 1914 before he died in, I believe he died in July 1929. Paul Henry, of course, as well, is extremely well associated, strongly associated with Corrymore House, as is another famous painter, not so well known here, but very famous in Europe, Mary Howie, a Belgian expressionist. But I, I came to write this book on foot of this is our fourth decade as a family coming and going to Ackle, so we know it really well. I did a book about Miss O'Flaherty of Dua about um, almost 10 years ago, and it kept tripping over uh, painters' names, painters' names, painters' names, way more than Paul Henry and Robert Henry. Yeah. It's my dearest wish that in this book we've managed to capture most, I hope, all of the well-known names, as well as a, a wide selection of local amateur painters who sometimes might have been a bit nervous to have called themselves painters in the same breath as Paul Henry. Now, as we mentioned, Mary Howie was one of those many, many painters who came to Ackle over an extended period of time. One of her best friends uh, here on the island was Miss O'Flaherty and the Burke family of the Bray. She was extremely close with that family for half a century, came back and over, back and over, almost every year, if not every second year. Th that was disrupted with World War II. But she's an extraordinary painter who won the premier European art prize in 1922, Prix d'Italia. Her painting was called um, Devant la Maison. And really, it's plain to see that the, 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 the call to creativity is coming up through the ground. As, as I'm speaking, it's very easy to see what drew and to feel what drew artists and painters here. Because uh, as well as a refuge, it's um, there's something, the silence is deafening, and in that furnace of silence, up comes creativity. Because when you leave your mind blank and open, that's when creativity darts in. So that's why I somehow found it within myself to tackle a topic that I have no expertise in, but a huge, huge research now has led me, you know, I feel on solid ground now talking about Ackle and painters. And Barry Howie, this is her painting here on the cover of this book. It's obviously of Dua and the bridge. She did it in 1929 when she came here and paintings like this are featured in her, her masterpiece. Her work would be t considered to be A la Source Dara, published in Paris in 1934. Only 90 copies of it ever printed. It's a hard box cover set. 25 tissue covered watercolours in it. Most of them are Akel. So that's an unexplored treasure that we have had translated from French and huge ex excerpts of it are in here explaining her paint experience and her painting life coming back and over to here. Ackle is, is an exceptional place for painters and we would be here for a month if we were going to go into the detail of everybody's life. But just to make this personal, the Mary Howie story is the one that really grabbed my heart and made it, made it my mission to get up in the morning and get more and translate more and find out why she came, when she came, why did she keep coming back, who did she know? what other painters were here with her. All of the names you all know, the famous names, and maybe some not so famous ones, but that doesn't matter. The spirit of creativity burns inside everyone. The reason, there are two main reasons why I wrote this book. First one was, it just wouldn't leave me alone. The Ackle Painter's story via Eva O'Flaherty. And the second reason is because for almost four decades coming here, I've been looking for a book similar to this where I could get the names of all of the painters gathered together in one place. That's really one of the drivers that pushed this book to the finish line. The history of Ackle really is, and the history of painters on Ackle, it's, they're, they're entwined, they're inextricable. You cannot separate Ackle history from Ackle painters from 1834 when William Evans of Eton painted at Kim, same time when Edward Nangle was setting up the colony at Dugart. They're inseparable. 
and there's a thread running through all of the painters here. So there's a nexus of art and nationalism, nationalism on Ackle as well. It's really important that I say that I owe an enormous debt of gratitude to every single creative person on this island of Ackle who helped make this book as solid and as interesting as it is.